Hey guys, this is Angela with We Are Family Homeschoolers. I'm a mom of seven. I've been homeschooling for 10 years. My children age one to almost 15 years old. And I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite math curriculums, Math UC. Um, so far, these are all the levels we have. Primer, Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Epsilon, Zeta, and Pre-Algebra. It goes on to Algebra 1, and then there's Geometry and Calculus. I think they may have an Algebra 2. Um, they have manipulatives, and they have videos with every course, and a student book, a teacher's book, and a test book. And um, these little doodads over here are fraction overlays, which are pretty awesome. The only thing we're missing to this set is the decimal kit that comes with Zeta, but my son said he didn't need them. So let me break this down for you. So here is the first level of Math UC called Primer. Um, you can use this for preschool or kindergarten, depending on the skill of your child. Um, sorry about the ratty book. My child loves this and she drags it all over the house. So we watch a video on the first day of the week. And you'll see the professor explaining it. It starts out real simple. You're going to count the blocks. My kids love to put the blocks right on the page, but you don't have to. So there's lesson A, and lesson B, and lesson C. Lesson D takes it further, and E, F, and G is a fun page. It's usually completely different. So that's how that works. And I'll show you where the book ends up. This is going to go through shapes and counting. Um, when you get to these pages, you're actually doing addition with the blocks. You're placing the blocks right on the page. They're writing the number of the block. And if they have a hard time counting, the blocks fit right on the page. They're going to memorize that the four block is yellow. They're going to write four and color it in and do the same with the rest of the blocks. And then they're going to see addition happen right before their eyes. So example, three and one is four. Later on what they're going to do is line them up and they can see that the three and the one are the same size as the four. And sometimes I like to put the blocks right on top of each other and that way they can get another visual. Okay. In the end of this primer book, they're going to be adding double digits and triple digits. They're going to be finding the missing number, counting by tens, and twos and fives, I believe. Here they're working on clocks, which they actually build the clock with the blocks, so they can count by fives, so this is really neat. The G page is always a fun page. It's not necessary, but my kids really look forward to it. Here they're going to learn how to skip count by tens. So this would be the hundreds block is what that's representing. And in the end of the book, they're going to get into subtraction. So they'll actually pull out the six block and I think Mr. Demi puts it upside down to say that there are two missing, so there's only four left. But I always build it and say six take away two what's left. But that's how I do it. So that is the primer level. When you get to alpha, which you could use for grades one or two, wherever your child is, you get a workbook, you get a video, and you get this simple little test book goes like that. Quick, short, little test. There's a checklist in the front of the book. And it shows you what they're going to be covering. Counting by twos, fives, making ten and nine, subtraction, solving for the unknown, adding to eight, adding with eights. And I'll show you how. So here's lesson twelve. Every time you get to an A lesson, you have a video. 
Some days you use the blocks and some days you don't need to. And lesson B and lesson C. Now if my child has the concept down by lesson C, we're going to do review D because this brings in everything from the previous chapters. And we're going to go ahead and skip over E and F. G is always optional. And then we're going to move on to the next lesson. So when people say, oh, my kid is bored, these lessons take forever, it's because their kid has already mastered the concept and they're making them do extra work pages that they don't need to. Matthew C. actually tells you don't work your child for more than 25 minutes because you want them to still like math by the time they're done with the lesson so that they don't come back the next day with bad feelings towards it. So this is the alpha. Get to the back of the book here. Uh, math, you see, is not Common Core. There are some myths going around saying it's Common Core, but Math, you see, was written years before Common Core ever came out. And if there's anything that appears to be Common Core, it's going to be the G pages. And it's not that it is Common Core, but Common Core does use some of these concepts. So if you have a child that has to take a state test that is Common Core based, they will be familiar with some of the concepts if they use the G pages. Okay, moving on. Okay, this one is the beta level, which a lot of people use for second grade. Um, this is multiple digit addition and subtraction. This is the instructor's manual. I wanted to show you how cool these are. They are um, hardcover. And the contents are right here. Math, you see, is very easy to use. If you don't want to watch the videos, you can just go through the lessons yourself and then explain it to your kid. They don't have to watch the videos, but I love to watch the videos because that's how I learn. Very simple. All the answers are in the back of the book, and I love that they work the answers out for you. So if you're not sure where your child went wrong, you can go through the steps and then check number by number just to make sure they got it right. Um, also, all the test answers are in the teacher's book. Okay, I'll go through all the other levels I have and show you the table of contents. The next level is gamma, single and multiple digit multiplication. I actually had a child go through third grade math three times because he couldn't get multiplication, and then once he got into math, you see, Everything just clicked. I think he's a huge Lego fan, and the blocks just look like Legos to him, and it worked. So he is a lifelong Matthew C. fan. So here are the lessons. The teacher's guide explanations. And again, answers in the back. And the next level is delta, single multiple digit division. Math you see is mastery based. It's not a spiral math. So they can take it as slow as they need to till they get the concept. I love it that it starts out so simple. So division by ones and twos. It's got charts in here that you can check off. They use the blocks to explain division to you. And by the time you get to the end of the book, you are a master and you are doing the most complicated division problems or multiplication problems or whatever it is that your book is working on. So it really takes you from the beginning level to, I would say, almost college level concepts. So my son likes this because with spiral learning, there's so much review that he doesn't have time to master anything, and then he feels like a dum-dum. But this one, he gets everything under control before he moves on, and it makes him really proud of himself. Okay, so epsilon is everything fractions. 
they illustrate with the fraction overlays. They watch a video. The fraction overlays are amazing for those kids that need to be hands-on. Answers in the back of the book. It takes you through step by step. This is really good because fractions are hard for me. Um, a lot of times when the kids get them wrong, it's because they forget to reduce. And it will show you that they actually got the answer right before uh, reducing. So, you know, they feel like you're, you're still on the right track there. Just got to go one more step further. Here is Zeta, all about decimals and percents. Another cool thing about math you see is all of the word problems are based on real life. There's nothing silly in here. We tried another curriculum that was supposed to bring humor into math and keep the kids interested that way. And um, then when the problems got too hard, my son's like, this is just stupid. Why would I ever use this in real life? Um, but he's never said that with math, you see. Because everything has to do with carpentry or shopping or cooking or something. Putting gas in your car. How many miles you need to go for a trip. And again, answers in the back of the book. They work it out step by step. Here's the last level that I have, pre-algebra. Negative numbers, exponents, place value, roots and radicals, solve for the unknown. Celsius and Fahrenheit, ratios, proportion polygons, polynominals, lots of good stuff in here. Um, I do have the textbook for pre-algebra that I can show you. So in the beginning, there's a nice schedule you can check off which lessons they did and their grade on their test. There are unit tests you can do. So with my son, like I said, we do lessons A, B, and C of the new concept, and then we do review D. And if he passes review D with a good score, we go ahead and test, and we skip E, F, and G is always optional. Um, if he's struggling, if he gets to D and maybe has a bunch of answers wrong, we'll continue with E and F. You can also go on their website and print out more worksheets if you're really having a hard time, and you can always call them up and ask for help. They're very helpful people. Okay, so this is lesson 1A in pre-algebra. Two pages. Sorry about that interruption. So here's lesson 6A. So we'll go through lesson A, two pages. Lesson B, two pages. Lesson C, two pages. And then the review is always D. They have these gray boxes here, and that's always, hey, remember this, remember that. So that's always an important lesson. And if we get a good grade on this lesson, we're skipping E, we're skipping F, G is optional, and we go on to test. And we school all summer long. We take breaks whenever we feel like it, and we can get through two Matthew C books in a year and a half instead of two years. And this is the end of the book. Now not all of my children are using Matthew C. I have seven children. Five of them are school age. Three of them have Matthew C. And two of them are doing other curriculum. Lots of word problems there. But if they ever um, get a curriculum that just does not work for them and they need a lot of my help, they need to come back to Matthew C because it's important that you know what curriculum works for mom since mom is the teacher. Um, if they're using another curriculum and they're stuck, sometimes you can just pop in the Matthew C DVD 
and watching the video works for them and they can still stay with their other curriculum if they need it. But there's my review on Matthew C. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.